usually usually I don't do these commentary style esque videos because I'm not very good with them. I never have a script for this kind of bullshit. But if you guys want to keep seeing more of this, uh, tell me. I guess I'll keep fucking doing it. Also, enjoy the crazy taxi gameplay, because that's all you're going to be seeing, really. So, there's this Halo YouTuber called PopQ2, which half of his content is him complaining about Halo, or just complaining in general. That sounds like every Halo YouTuber. But anyways, he made a video recently... Call something called Halo Infinite's co-op is not free. Newsflash, that is not fucking true. <laughs> he just doesn't know how Game Pass works. You see, he bought the, the $1 Game Pass thing for the first month so he could play Halo Infinite's campaign. And now he's mad that he has to put he has to pay another month for 10 bucks to play Halo Infinite's campaign within the Game Pass. Which, like, one, why are you complaining? You would be spending more money if you just bought it for 60 bucks and kept the game forever than buying Game Pass for two fucking months. You'd be saving 49 bucks. Two, there are other games in the fucking Game Pass. Halo Infinite's campaign is not the only thing that's fucking in there, all right? But, uh, after he made that video, he decided to make... Two Twitter videos, which are basically the same fucking thing. But uh, I'll, I'll just show you it, and I'll just talk whenever I want to talk. Because this dude is something, man. Okay, so I just want to say something real quick regarding uh, a video I just uploaded. Basically talking about how if I want to play Halo Infinite Co-op during the flight or when it officially gets added to the game... I will have to spend more money on Halo Infinite. Like, I mean, technically, yes, you're spending more money on Halo Infinite, but you would be spending even more money if you just bought it for the retail price instead of just buying Game Pass for the sole purpose of playing Infinite's campaign. Because I don't have a Game Pass subscription, and I never bought the game. So, <clears throat> if I, so when Halo Infinite launched, I played through the campaign uh, for $1.00. Because I bought the, the Game Pass Ultimate for a dollar. One dollar. And now I would have to pay ten times that amount, minimum, a ten dollars Game Pass USD, if I want to experience co-op. I mean, would you rather pay ten times the amount after paying one dollar for it, or would you rather pay sixty times that amount in one time and never have to spend any money again? Pick your fucking poison, man. I, I, I can agree with him on one thing that... Inf that Infinite should have launched with co-op. Like, I mean, come on. It's been six years since the last Halo game. But you are just beating a dead horse here, man. I'm just pointing out how ridiculous that is. Like, not only did we have to wait eight months for co-op, but I'd also have to spend more money to play it. Uh, ten times the amount that I spent when I uh, originally played it. Now, yeah, no shit, you have to have access to the game to play it. I'm just pointing out how ridiculous it is. This is what happens when core features like co-op are missing at launch. Like, it's not just, oh, we'll add it later. Well, no, now it's I have to spend more money if I want to experience that feature that should have been in the game at launch that I should have been able to experience for $1. The audacity on this motherfucker, bro. If you did simple fucking math, you would realize that you would have $49 unspent left. Because the first month is $1, and you're having to pay the the the, uh, the second month for 10 bucks, which is $11. Halo Infinite retail price is 60 bucks, I think. Is it 60 bucks? Yeah, it's 60 bucks. So, if you just paid that the, those two months, you would still have $49 left over. Honestly, I don't know why the fuck you're complaining. If you really wanted to keep the game, you would have just paid the $60 for the fucking game. Yeah, that's basically all from his video. I mean, there's more to it. It's just basically repetitive bullshit. And his second video is also 
basically repetitive bullshit, but then he's like, yeah, I know how Game Pass works, I know how subscription works, you have it for a limited time, like, you, yeah, no shit. If you really wanted to keep Infinite for longer, you would have just paid 60 bucks for the fucking game, G. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video, because I just wanted to show y'all how much of a fucking idiot this dude is. If you guys enjoyed, I don't know, leave a like, subscribe, rate the video. See you all next time. Peace out.